Welcome, YouTube. This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review Jeffree Star's most recent music project, which is Mr. Diva. Now, this came out in late 2012. It's really kind of scant, doesn't have a lot to it, but I still kind of feel like it's a quality project for what it does have. Some of the songs, part of the reason why it's not quite, I mean, it's an impressive project, but it's not as much of a surprise. It's because some of the songs off this Mr. Diva EP I reviewed from the Virginity EP, which is not really, I mean, it's kind of a release, but it kind of isn't. It's either really tough to find, or it's been pulled from the market so you can't get it anymore, or it was never released in the first place. One of the three, something like that, but you can at least kind of find a couple songs from Virginity on this project, which are Legs Up and then Prom Night, which is kind of a remix. So that's kind of the concept here. That's kind of the concept here, I would have to say. I mean, I would like if I would have liked just these three songs and it had been previously unreleased, I would have given this record a 10. I'm not going to give this record a 10, but I would, I am going to give it a high score, but it's just not going to get a perfect score just because there's, there's only one new song that I haven't heard from any of his previous projects. So that's kind of the concept, but there are a couple singles. Basically, I, I mean, I'm glad that Jeffree Star is still very much in his electronica and kind of crunk type, crunk core type stuff. And I, it, it's appreciative just because by this point, you know, Jeffree Star was really just kind of seamlessly kind of doing it. It seemed like in a lot of ways, like I remember giving Beauty Killer a really high score, but that was three years before this. And I feel like he just like this, the one new song that you hear on here, which is Mr. Diva is pretty exceptional. And I'll go ahead and talk about that because that's the single. So Mr. Diva, which is what the album's named after, is the single. And basically there's an explicit version and then the clean version, which are the two versions that are on. He puts both on the album. So it's kind of, but I really do like this song. I mean, this has a real kind of simple bop in the chorus, just kind of sing-songy and kind of earworm type-esque. Definitely feels like a single. And this is probably one of the more, I feel like this, single has a better trajectory in terms of marketing for it and maybe not because it's better in terms of quality but just because it has like a, an approach that kind of puts Jeffree Star a little bit more towards mainstream and kind of like I kind of got a feel from this song as far as like a hotel room casino type feel. I mean, it doesn't quite feel like an entry club song. It kind of feels like a little bit more like a New York sophisticated New York kind of club, something like that. A little bit more where there's going to be like some like some fancy curtains and stuff like that in like the building and that sort of stuff ornaments and you know just general more better de general better decor and that type of stuff i just would have to say so it's interesting to kind of get that i really like the production on this song it's real fancy and felt sophisticated for a club type bop this has a little bit more grace towards it i mean jeffrey is still as raunchy as he is in the lyrics but that's you know big deal i like that anyways I would have to kind of wind up saying that this based upon the concept of it. It's just a real nice one. Like I said, the chorus is really catchy. It's probably a brilliant moment. I'm surprised that this song didn't chart. He was still affiliated with Akon at this particular point in time. Akon was kind of in limbo around this time, but it's just good to see that we kind of all... I, I want to say that this was kind of an official release. I mean, it says that it was, but I just don't really see this project talked about that much, which is kind of unfortunate just because... It's kind of unfortunate it's because of the quality of this single but it is a nice fancy song and, and supposedly there was a second single off this project they say like another page says that legs up was kind of the second single but this this is a really good song too legs up has a nice beat on here legs up has a nice beat on here and it basically pretty much sounds like a better more kind of ground level mid tempo kind of mid club type feel not an entry or not a sophisticated club but just kind of a mid club this nice dance club that type of stuff kind of gets a little edm in the chorus that sort of thing nice kind of saucy song i would have to say i definitely like that one just to kind of talk about that a little bit but so yeah so the songs i recommend i just recommend all three of the songs on here mr diva legs up and prom night they're all excessively good they're all excessively good and such, and I would have to say Prom Night basically is the EDM song. That's kind of where Jeffree Star was kind of starting to touch base with some of the EDM type feel, which is kind of odd just because I don't know how I would have felt about Jeffree Star doing that sort of stuff just because he suits more with electronica and that type thing. But I did, I mean, 
it's kind of watered down. I feel like if Jeffree Star would have ever charted on like the Billboard 100 and gotten songs that were not alternative, I probably would have said that EDM probably would have been the direction for him to go because he doesn't lose like his spark when he does kind of get on some commercial EDM type stuff. So it's interesting. It's interesting just to kind of see that, but it's it's very brief in terms of figuring out what that kind of concept would have been like a bit, but for what it is, I still feel like Mr. Diva is the best song on the album, and it's just kind of, it's a real shame. This There's a number of things to knock about this project. For one, the clean version probably shouldn't have been on here. I mean, it's good that it was, but I think it probably should have just been like a bonus song, and then there should have definitely been more songs, and then... I'd probably also have to say, like, maybe there should have been a CD format of this just to kind of have, like, a Beauty Killer and Cupcakes taste like violence. So this is kind of, I mean, really, I feel like EP should not have less than three songs. I, I really feel like are less than four songs in some cases. I mean, yeah, this has three original songs, two of which were on Virginity, which may or may not have been released, and this is kind of in that same territory where it's kind of in the gray area as to whether or not it was released and how easy it is to find. It's on Spotify, but it's just not in a, an abundance of other places, and I don't know if it's on CD. It says it's on digital and vinyl, so why, Jeffrey, why'd you do that? <laughs> it's kind of, that's kind of the situation, uh, so... So I'm going to score this album an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give this project an 8 out of 10. I would give it a 10 if all three of the songs were new and there would have been at least one or two extras. But I feel like it's just a little bit too simple a romp. And I really, I mean, be, like I said, Mr. Diva, the title track, is an excellent new song by Jeffree Star, but there's just not enough of those kind of moments. That is kind of the concept. So I give it an 8. The social score I will give a 10, though is because all three of these are festive and outgoing, and you can get the clean version of Mr. Diva also if you're looking for, like, a nice bop, but you just want it with less sauce. And I just would have to say that's kind of the concept there. So, but, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, Jeffree Star is a pretty outgoing dude. I mean, it's obvious throughout his music that I've reviewed as far as that kind of goes. So you just need to pick up several of these, try to find virginity somehow if you can get a hold of it. And I... I Really, there's a couple more Jeffree Star projects. He dropped the mixtape, which I'm going to review. He dropped the mixtape, which I'm going to review. And then supposedly he had a second album that was going to be called Concealer, which I guess was kind of completed, but there's like a bootleg version of it. So I'm probably going to review that, kind of see what's up with that. But that's kind of the concept. So there's a little bit more Jeffree Star. This, is, this one's a real quickie, but it still has some new stuff on there that I wanted to cover and such. So yeah.